Greetings, dear family. It was early in the morning, and I decided to go for a very long walk. I was excited to talk to Jesus, and I couldn't wait to get out there into nature and hear what he had to say. I started down the dirt path and walked and walked and walked. I heard nothing. Nada. Zilch. Just a few birds welcoming the day. So I waited. Quite a while, I might add. And finally, I heard a very faint, quiet voice. Jesus began speaking. I appreciate, Elizabeth, your deep earnest to want to communicate with me. You expected to hear my voice. You all should expect to hear from me because my spirit dwells with you and within you and connects with your spirit. I speak to you frequently, whether you realize it or not. Some of you do not rest your thoughts long enough to hear from me. For those who continually do mental gymnastics, I give you dreams, visions, and place gifts and signs for you to notice throughout your day. All can hear my voice. You just need to tune in and be cognizant of my spirit's movement. So many of my children tell me they don't hear from me. You must engage your spirit with my spirit to discern my voice. You accomplish this through developing your relationship with me. I communicate through scripture, thoughts, words, impressions, visions, and encounters. Over time, you will begin to discern my voice, your voice, and the voice of the enemy. If the voice you hear has doubt, confusion, and even condemnation, it is not mine. Learn to quiet your soul your emotions and reactions to the circumstances around you and you will start to hear my voice more clearly. After some time, you will more readily identify the voice of your God, your voice, and when the enemy is speaking. If you make the effort to discern my voice and obey my words, you will be strengthened in faith and expect to see my miracle working power in your life. Don't believe Hollywood. I'm typically not a big booming voice that causes brilliant light to break through the clouds. Listen for my gentle whisper. If you read my word, I speak through dreams, visions, pictures, prophets, angels, and miracles. I am not limited, dear ones, in the way I communicate with you. Hearing me is about learning to listen for a whisper. Ask for my help to block out Satan and your thoughts and speak to the quiet of your mind. Here I'd like to interject when I first attempted to discern God's voice, I discovered my own thoughts would often analyze and sound logical the way I usually would think. Unless I was upset, then they would become more emotional and jumbled. The devil condemns, is negative, destructive, and accusing. When God speaks, it lines up with the Bible. He is loving healing, peaceful, encouraging, and convicts us without condemnation. He corrects the ones he loves. Jesus will disarm you, surprise you, and take you into his arms to comfort you. As our relationship with the Lord grows, so do our thoughts start to resemble his thoughts. Jesus continued, Beloved ones, quiet yourselves. 
Be still. Slow down in your fast-paced, busy lives. Take time in your day to seek me out and to listen to me without distractions. Keep your journals handy to write down the words you hear. Welcome the Holy Spirit into your presence and make an effort to feel his movement. Then visualize my image sitting right beside you. Use your spiritual imagination, eyes and ears to stay focused on my face and listen. Remember, my voice may not be audible. Instead, I may speak to your thoughts or give you an idea in an answer to your prayers. Write down what you hear, meditate on my words, and share it with your brothers and sisters as they may be able to provide you with further clarity as to how I am directing you. I love you in all your sin, in all your pain, and in all your trials. Know this beyond a shadow of a doubt. And that was the end of his message. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's in John 10, 27 and 28. God bless you, dear family, and may his peace always rest upon you.